between those boats there. Right here? Yeah. Perfect. Jump on in. Well, thank you, sir. This is Michael and I am with Mikey. We're in the second round of our annual tournament, uh, just for fun tournament. Although one of you guys are gonna win $500. Uh, we got 202 people of the first round had a perfect bracket. And today Mikey is up against Tara. This is the first challenge. Go ahead and just see if there's anything on that. Tara had 30 points. Tara had 30 points, so Mikey needs more than 30 points to advance in our tournament. And again, like I said, in the first round, I haven't really been talking about the bracket that much, but some 202 people had a perfect first round. So today will be the first, uh, one of the first winners and losers of the second round. Wish Mikey and Tara some luck. A lot of stress. All right, I think uh, I think the little filter works out pretty good. All right, you asked about my eye earlier. Tell me what you think. No. Okay. If you haven't been paying attention, we got five limb lines out there. This is the second one. And we got two trot lines. And we threw out a jug in the beginning for a total of 30 hooks. And as I've said, we used the best bait available at the Horns Bait Shop here in Cromwell, Kentucky. And that was actually a little bit of bluegill, stiff jack, and we did have one small, tiny goldfish on that jug. Mikey has caught one during the tournament, first round. Yes, it was a baby. A tiny one. It was so sweet. This one's got all kinds of junk on it. What are you Vanna Y eating it as? Is it, what, is it the same combo? There's a fish on it. Do you think there's a fish? Yeah, it's, it's twiddling. Wait, <laughs> I thought the motor was coming up back here. All right, there's, there's a, little, it's a little bit bigger than the last one you got. Yeah, a little five, bit. Five points, five wait, points. Wait, wait. A little chili, a chili pepper. A little chili flathead. And I am keeping a few of these for a local fish fry going on today, I promised them. Oh, nice. I found like one of those shake weight things just now from the way it's like. There's a lot of wind coming up the river right here. Question, right, got a fish. Hey, one of those shake things are like that back in the 2010s that people were like, let me get my Yeah, I had a friend that actually had one of those. Really? I think there's another one on this one. Yes. 
question real quick. Sure. Interesting uh, food that you've eaten in the last couple days. Uh, what have I ate? Living up in your, the exotic Louisville area. Um, well, we had sushi, and that wasn't anything spectacularly new, sushi. but it was really good. What kind of sushi? Uh, a lot of uh, fried and raw and just a mixture. There's nets back here. That's a decent blue. Oh, this camera is just having a hard time. It's too bright, too too dark. Decent. Ten points. Ten points in the boat. Sweet. What's your Another price? question. Yeah. Have you ever used chopsticks? Yeah, I use them all the time. I actually have two pairs. So you prefer chopsticks yeah. to a fork? Um, it depends on the food. So I'll eat chopsticks. Well, I'll eat chopsticks. I won't eat them. But I'll use chopsticks when it comes to sushi, pho. So, like, if I'm in an Asian restaurant with Asian cuisine. <laughs> sorry, cows. I don't eat you today, so you're good. Yeah. <laughs> but. You know, I've tried chopsticks, and, uh, you know, I just. I'm just a spoon and fork kind of person. That's okay. Some people are like that. To me, it. That's good. No. To me, it's just a lot of work to pick up some rice. Well, like, if you hold them the way you're supposed to, it's actually pretty easy. But it's just having the technique down. And my son, he likes sushi. Sushi's good. I do not like sushi. What kind of sushi does he eat? I those little rolls and stuff. I really don't know. It's I usually get like chicken teriyaki and stuff. Well, I mean, at Cook least chicken. you're trying. All right, it's that line right at the top of the water if you can't see it. The lot of this one? Yeah, well, right, right there in front of you, at the water level. Okay. Well, that wasn't it, but uh, that's attached to it. Is we it? Might, it might be under the water. Oh, is it the log one? Well, it's, just, it's that one too. Okay. These, these cows are not happy. You know what it reminds me of? When I lived in, um, it's underneath the boat. Okay. Yeah, it's underneath the boat. There we go. So when I lived in Germany, I found out that, speaking of cows, they actually have kangaroo farms. Because they eat kangaroo. Kangaroo farms? Yeah, and um, I think kangaroos are adorable. So near the Audubon, there's a kangaroo farm over there. And I actually went up towards it one day. Like not into it, but towards it. And the kangaroo was trying to box me. And I found out kangaroos are really mean. Yeah, I'd say if somebody was trying to eat me, I would probably be throwing some punches too. Oh, there's a fish. Hold on one second. You're very big? No, but I'm gonna use a nut anyways. Yeah, you you chance the first two. Yeah, I, I'm a little wild natured. Thank you. Appreciate it. I think that heavy started. Not used. That's another. Uh, that's actually another fish fry fish too. Got three in a row. I may already have enough. That's all we need. Let's go. Oh yeah, we got a competition going on. <laughs> Since we're on the food subject, yeah. have you ever went down the I'm a vegetarian ro road? Okay, so I'll sit this down for a second. I got bit by a tick last year, okay, I, and I didn't realize that there's a thing called allogaffin, which can actually mess with your taste buds. So I couldn't eat red meat for a minute, but when I went to Philly... Alpha gal? Yeah. I, I don't know what I said, but you know, same thing. <laughs> And so I couldn't eat red meat, and then I ate a Philly in Philly, and I discovered I could have it again. But I couldn't eat red meat for about a year. Yeah, but you didn't do it because you're trying to be a vegan or. No. Oh. No, I'm PETA. I'm people eating tasty animals. Gotcha. So. You got another one? Yep. All right. Hell it's yeah. as if I should have had questions ready today. Having trouble with this light, but I think I got it back here. The shutter speed's at freaking thousand. 
All right, how much? That's a nice one. That's a flathead. All right, uh, that's a perfect eater right there. That's what we're looking for. Perfect, perfect eater. Net. And I'm doing good with the net finally. Oh, you've done well for a while. How many is that? Four. 20 points. Yeah. You only need three more to win or a big one. A big one. A Let's big see, real quick, uh, when's the last time you ate fish? Uh, Catfish. Cat oh, it's been a while. A year? Yeah. Week. I know. I like clean fish. It's a dirty fish for me, but I think it's a dirty, sexy fish. This one right here is sexy. It is sexy. Yeah. I'm a... I'm a uh, older catfish if it's on the menu oh. kind of person. I need, I need I need a big net. I need a big net. Seriously, give me a big net. Give me a big net, dude. Look at that. Look blue. Looks like a swirling blue right there. That might be. Probably is over ten. Get her in the boat. Let's weigh it. <laughs> oh shit. Let's see here. That's good. No, it's a nine pound fish. That's oh. a nine, five points though. Five points. That's 25 points, so she's close. I think you're hanging. Well. Alright, uh, let's think of a question real quick. Uh, ever broke a bone? No, I have not, thankfully. Never broke a bow? Nope. Never had a cast? Uh, nope. Thankfully not. I broke my hand a few times. I was kind of jealous. My brother broke his arm in high school. He's eight years older than me. And I got to sign his cast. And I was like, I want my cast signed. And I was like, you don't want to break your bones? I'm like, I break yeah, your bone just so you can get that uh, yes. signature on your cast. I still have my cast. Do you? Somewhere. It smells, I'm sure. All right, we're going to try to get this unhung, and uh, there's one more hook over there, I'm pretty sure. If there's anything on it, you'll see it. If not, we'll be heading up the river. She has 25 points. She needs more than 30 to win. She's got 12 more hooks and a jug line floating. So let's see if the if the bite bite was just as good on this line. I hope so. Like I'm so happy I have so many fish today. Me too. I've told those people, I was like, I guarantee I will bring you back enough for a fish fry. And we did, We are going to. Oh, yeah. Well, because now you have to keep your promise, man. Yeah. You have to... If anything, I would have went to the store and bought a bunch of catfish and been like, I already... Here you go. I already filleted it and everything. Oh, here's one. One right on the first hook. <gasps> oh! Ooh! You big? Sounds big. I need my net though. Yeah, you better use the net. Oh, well, fast fish has been through some shit. I'll tell you that right now. Probably has been a rough, rough summer. He's had more than a hot girl summer, I can tell you that. There we go. That's 30 points. She has tied Tara. One more and she wins. If not, it comes down to sudden death. Oh shit, what's that? Shares. Okay. <laughs> like, what are you about to make me and Tara do? Five club? Shit, don't do that. All right. I've been watching a lot of uh, documentaries on Crystal Lake, Jason Voorhees. Yeah. If you were invited to be a on a slasher film such as Friday the 13th, uh -huh. the original kind of version, would you do it? Hell yeah, because I'm not the typical white person. Like, I'm not going to be searching for him or, ooh, you hear that noise? Let's go find him. Like, that's some dumb stuff. Well, yeah, that's, that's what you have to do if you're invited to be on the show. I mean, I'm not going to go find him. I'm just going to... you got to follow the script. I mean, I, I do what I do. But <laughs> There it is! The winning what? fish! 
No, he got off! Oh my god! <laughs> oh god. What are the chances of that? There's... She's tied up. The winning fish was right there within reach. She should have dove in after it. Is that another one? No one! Yeah! <laughs> they are biting right now. And Mikey advances to the final four. She's the first person to enter the final four. Congratulations to everyone that had the redemption ticket. That was a heck of a guess if you did that. I was gonna lose my, I was about to drown y'all. I was about to get either killed by Jason or drown in the river over that. Yeah. Did you see that? I was getting my thing. I know, I got off and then you got another one. They're, they're biting. Smaller fish are biting anyway. I'm so happy just because I've never gotten this far in it. Final four question. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite type of movie? Uh, I like comedies and I like psychological thrillers. Like uh, Silence of the Lamb. Like it gets the hose again. <laughs> yeah. It puts the lotion on it. We're really bright out here, but we have a uh, Final Four person on the boat right now. Like my white ass that shines like a disco ball. What? Like my white ass that shines like a disco ball. Yeah. Um, Gotta put the sunglasses back on. I know. There we go. It only works sometimes. By getting the shade, it's too dark. All right, though. That's part of making videos. If you see a bunch of uh, splotches on the screen, guys, it's because. Uh, oh, it's all... like I feel I feel like Snow White today because all the bugs keep coming up to me. <laughs> like I got dragonflies on the line. Yeah, last video, Tara had a cicada on her arm the whole time. Did she? I was attacked by a swarm. I thought it was cicadas the other day. They they just had a leader that was cicada, and the rest of them were horseflies. Sounds like a gang initiation. I'm talking 30 horse flies. Like they swarmed my truck. I was out trying to do something on a back row. Yeah. Oh, there's something right there. And they just, I don't know, they just like my truck for some reason. It's a good sized fish, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Now you're totally sore. We'll come in for it later on. see what we got here. Man, just like the other one, eight or nine pounds, so. It's okay. It's a five pound fish at, uh, what is that? 40, 40, 40. points. 40. Could have been 45, but you know. You lost one, but you still have the jug. So. so Mikey has advanced to the final four, 40 points, unless she's got something on this jug. A little baby bait. Just bait. We must have kept it right beside the bank. You didn't want to die. Alright guys, this is Michael and I am with Final Four Bound Mikey.